I'm Romy Weimer. I'm a harp player and composer. Uh, I live in Glasgow right now. Um, I play solo and I also play with the Willow Trio, which is a trio of harps. I started playing the harp when I was 14 about, um, and I've been playing piano for a couple of years growing up, but just not getting, um, I wanted to, at the time, I wanted to sound more unique <laughs> and, you know, um, a bit more interesting. Um, but I was also looking for that sort of feeling of playing a full solo instrument um, that you get from piano. Um, and I also found that in the harp. I feel like the entire time I've been playing harp, my main focus has been like, Celtic style folk music, like Irish and Scottish music. Um, and then when I was in uni, I started researching what folk music from the Netherlands is, because there's not really like a living um, tradition that I know of that's going on right now. Um, so I started researching um, different manuscripts that have, um, you know, they've all been scanned in and put online so anyone can go look through them and um, yeah, just kind of going through them and finding all these tunes. There's thousands and thousands that nobody really plays anymore. And this is music from the 1700s and 1800s, roughly. Um, so I, I don't actually know what they're meant to sound like. So, um, I just started taking these single lines of music and adding whatever I thought um, it felt like onto the tunes. The structures um, that I found are quite different. Um, like in Scottish, you'll get like an A part and a B part, sometimes a C part, and it's just a really clean repetition pattern. Um, and I find in Dutch music, it's a lot more meandering. It doesn't really um, repeating like an A and then a B section, it kind of wanders through. It doesn't have even bars all the time. The biggest scene for harp playing, I think, is actually here in Scotland. Um, and I first came here as well because um, this is what I found um, the one place near-ish to where I'm from where you can study it at universities. Um, as a full instrument um, and yeah I just feel like there's a really um, active community of harp players you know quite casual and also professionals as well um, putting up festivals and workshops and regular groups I think Klarsach I feel like it's a bit of a cultural term uh, it's the Gaelic word for harp and um, I think people in Scotland like to use it um, to differentiate between big classical harps and small lever harps. And it also kind of implies genre um, because it's a Scottish word, so it's probably folk music, you know? Um, yeah, I think we kind of, with the Willow, Willow Trio, we agreed um, to use the word Klarsach just to um, ground us to our location as well, um, but by myself, because I, as solos, I just kind of go all over the place and different, um, I play more different genres and different origins of music, so I don't stick to the Klarsach term. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Willow Trio, um, with them, I started playing classical music on Klarsach, which is quite unusual because um, it's mechanically a lot more difficult to do that, but since there's the three of us, we can divide things up more easily and make it work. And um, yeah, we've been adapting a lot of orchestral music to the three of us as well, um, which is a pretty unique thing, I think. Um, it doesn't happen a lot. Growing up, I listened to a lot of um, Klarsa, who are lever harp players like um, Katrina Mackay, who um, I feel like she started quite a lot of extended technical work 
um, which she put into her into her songs and pieces. Um, so I I feel like I've drawn quite a lot from that, and also players like Sephora Stevenson, um, who wrote some pretty. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use the word avant-garde correctly, but, <laughs> um, you know, really out there pieces, really advanced pieces um, in a time where um, the small harp wasn't considered an advanced instrument. And I still play those pieces to this day just because they're so cool and interesting. <laughs> in terms of harp players, um, Ailey Robertson is currently doing really cool projects uh, under the name Adenine um, with like electric harps and electronics and it's really beautiful atmospheric music. Um, so I'm quite curious how we would maybe be able to blend some different sounds. <laughs> I wouldn't call it short term, but like a medium term project with the Willow Trio that we're working on is... Um, a all Klarsach version of Swan Lake, which is quite fun. And um, yeah, we're preparing to tour that. Um, we're preparing to work with dancers as well to either um, have projected images of movement or to actually have people in person. And we're blending it with Scottish culture throughout as well. Um, so that will be really fun. And I would like to record a solo album fairly soon. Um, just working on some more pieces for that. Thank you. 